You got a jack? Duh. <laughs> Duh, get with it, Victor. There's the smirk again. You think this kid needs to work on his live tells? And Mike's raising to 44,000. Dan Shack has Queen 7 in the small. Not getting cute this time. Victor Blom has Ace Jack in the big blind. How much did you start down with? Like 450. Blom's got McDonald dominated. Kid's got an intense gaze. There's the re raise from Victor. To the delight of his railing crew, he makes it 126,000. Victor's got an insane rep, so when he's three betting here, he's doing it for value. On. Mike shoves. All in. Now, unless Victor's picked up some kind of crazy tell, I assume he's going to call. He calls. Oh. Mike was in a tough spot. He probably could have called, but shoving's perfectly fine too, but only because they're not on the bubble yet and ICM isn't as much of a factor. So McDonald is at risk, and he's a three-to-one underdog. I'm good at these. You're really good at these. But there's a king, Mike McDonald, taking it to the streets. Timex supporters, Isil Dur supporters. McDonald now an 86% favorite to double up. Make that a 93% favorite. He only has to fade an ace on the river and he will double up to 925,000. And Victor will take a huge hit to his stack. The river card. It's an ace! Oh, brutal river for Mike McDonald. And that will send Mike McDonald to the rail in seventh place. I swear, Victor, I felt it coming. Really and Victor Blom is smiling. He is a human being. A tough beat for Timex, but to be fair, he did get his money in behind. Victor Blom has ace-queen suited. You would usually expect a three bet here from a player out of position. Victor calls. Very sneaky. This is Victor's way of pre-flop trapping. Galen Hall gives up the big blind. We go heads up to the flop. Jack, 5-7 with two hearts. Action flop. Victor's checking to the original Razor. Two overs and a flush draw is usually a time when you want to get more money in. Jonathan Betts' is top pair. We can see that with those two overs and that flush draw, Victor is a statistical favorite. Of course he's not folding. He could even raise for value against Jonathan's range. He does raise. Makes it 215,000. If he knows Jonathan's never folding a pair, a straight draw, or a smaller flush draw, then he's way ahead of Jonathan's range. No, flush draws are good, okay? Jonathan is going to re-raise, makes it 386,000. Now, even though it might look like Jonathan's turning his hand to a bluff, Victor would sometimes have worse hands and often have worse draws in this spot, so he's pretty much also raising for value against Victor's range. Raise. Four bet coming. Five, seven, seven, five. five seven, and a cheeky Swedish smirk. You think he likes his hand? I'm all in. All in. Jonathan shoves. Jonathan moves. All in. Yeah. I call. And All Victor in. calls. I think Victor's going to like what he sees. Jonathan can't like this. He's going to have to dodge more than Tony Blair at a press conference. Well, Victor has 15 outs twice. And Jonathan Duhamel is the player at risk. He needs those jacks to hold to survive. Seven of hearts on the turn, but... A jack or a seven will see Duhamel reclaim the lead. Four outs for Jonathan, a 10% chance of survival. Victor's flush holds. So Duhamel exits in four. Look, third, take it down, man. Take it down. Joe, it's time to step inside the mind of Galen Hall. We're going to play this next hand from his perspective. We're going to sweat with Galen, something many of our female viewers are hoping to do one day. Kidding! We don't have any female viewers. My wife watches. Granted, it's for your jokes, but... <laughs> Victor raises the button. 55,000. Galen has Queen Jack suited and will three bet from the small blind. Makes it 125 total. I like the three bet because we've got a fairly strong hand, we're out of position, and we're certainly deep enough. Victor's going to call. He'll play the flop in position. The just call means he'll have hands like aces, kings, and queens less often. What a flop for Galen. King jack six with two spades. His second pair. 
and the flush draw. He has the betting lead. He continues for 175,000. This is a pretty bomb flop for us. We should have no probs getting some more money in on this flop. Victor calls. Really hoping for a spade here. It was the four of clubs. Now we could fire here, but these guys are pretty deep and you don't want to get raised off of it. Galen has checked. If we're going to check, it should be with the intent of inducing a bluff from a worse hand, though. There is no check folding here. 275,000. 275,000. Again, I like just calling here because our hand is strong, but not crazy strong, and we don't want to get raised off of it. Galen does make the call. Victor seems a little surprised. Seven of hearts on the river. If only we had a brick draw, we would have made the nuts. Galen checks. Five seven to five thousand. Victor bets again. Is he trying to buy it? Or do you think he's got the king? This is a really sick spot. Victor's very likely to value bet any hand better than ours, and I think also fairly likely to check back most hands that we're beating. The only hand worse than ours that he wouldn't bet is probably ace-jack, but he'd very likely play any hand queens are better just like this. James, I'm leaning toward fold. You got a jack? Duh. <laughs> Duh, get with it, Victor. There's the smirk again. You think this kid needs to work on his live tells? Galen lays it down. Victor did have a king. Victor. Nice lay down us. <laughs> okay, and Galen too. Uh, I was throwing the... I had a jack and a flush draw. Really? Yeah, so if you raise, if you raise flop and I threw back, I would get an end. Cool. For sure. I was close raising the flop, actually. Really close. You ever played heads up before? Yeah, but he's never been heads up for a live title before, that's for sure. All right, Kevin McKay. If I were to live, I'd be jealous of these two. What is going on here? Dan, a very popular player on the circuit. No surprise, he's got two EPT champions in his camp. So here we go. Heads up for the title. Victor Blom in the small blind on the button. First to speak. Looking down at sevens. Notice, as we're at the business end, the shades have gone on. Victor raises to 120,000. Maybe those shades will hide some of his live tells. Pocket eights for Dan Shack. I like a re-raise here against Victor, unless you're planning to trap. Well, Dan elects to call. So trap it is. Whoops. There's a seven on the flop. This board isn't too scary for two eights either. Dan might not get off so easy. He's checked to the razor. And Victor continues for 130,000. Well, he's not folding. How bad's it gonna be for Dan Shack? He decides to check raise. He's made it 330,000. I'm not a huge fan of this raise, and not just because he's drawing super thin. Victor's just never going to be calling with a worse than a pair of eights, and he's never folding better. I think if Dan wanted to get more money and he should have done it before the flop. Well, Victor is called. There's now 920,000 in the middle. An ace on the turn. Doesn't look like it's going to slow Dan down. He's reaching for chips, and he's betting half a million. This is a pretty odd bet. At this point, Dan's pretty much bluffing. Victor makes the call. Victor really doesn't have to do much here. Dan's doing all the work for him. The pot has ballooned to nearly two million. The river is the three of diamonds. For his sake, I hope Dan loses the nerve to fire this last barrel. On the turn, he was pretty much bluffing. Now, he's 100% bluffing. How much is he going to bet? The answer is 700,000. 700, cool. 
Victor calls. Very easy just call. Whoops. And he'll win that pot of 3.3 million with his set of sevens. Bad timing, Mr. Shaq. Dan in the small, looking down at ace five suited. He raises to 155,000. King, queen for Victor. Typically, we'd see a three bet here. Well, Victor just calls, so we go to the flop. Surprising just call. 697 rainbow. Jack's got the best hand with ace high, as well as some draws to a gut shot and backdoor flushes. Goes check, check. Well, there's the flush draw for Shaq, but Victor takes the lead with top pair. Action card. Looks like Victor's going to lead. He bets 180,000. Dan's got plenty of equity. Oh, and he shops. How much? Well, that should get the attention of the rail. I think Victor's got way enough chips to make this call without sweating it too much. If he does call, there is a 66% chance that he will win his first ever live title. Cool. He has called. I got outs. Dan Shack drawing to a heart, an ace, or an eight. Fifteen cards that would stop Victor Blum from winning the 2012 PCA Super High Roller. Will the Queens hold? Ace. They do! It's all over! Somebody call the Blom squad because this kid is blowing up. Yeah, he killed me heads up. To the victor go the spoils. $1.25 million. Thanks, Victor. Thanks.